Okay, okay, I think we're back on. These are the vegetables, vegetables that I started to grow. Um, those are collards. These are curly kale. These are some cabbages and um, Brussels sprouts. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but it, it was something for me to do to take my mind off of being isolated for one, uh, being so that you can't travel, which is now, that's kind of forbidden for most of us, but it, it got me busy. And then I was able to get outdoors more. Um, these right here are mint, lemon balm, and thyme. And I'm going to uh, grow right here some spinach, believe it or not. I'm going to do that today. This is some lavender. Oh, I love these because some of the leaves are beginning to turn purple, as you can see. And these are some long stem onions. And I just planted these two, the onions and the garlic. I just planted those using seed about a week and a half ago. And this garlic is taking off a lot so I'm glad to have that these are strawberries and this field right here that you see that looks empty are from seeds so um, that's just something to get started now I did want to talk about it just a little bit if you have time I'm using some containers these are just storage containers that you get from Walmart or any other place and I decided to use those. And if you can see, I've got plenty of soil in there, but I had to also do some reading. And one of the things I had to learn was what was the required depth of the soil that the roots needed to grow. So um, I don't think I maxed it as much as I, I read, but I did give it some depth to the soil. This one is a little higher this one will be growing cabbages so hopefully that will work now I got another thing that I ordered these are some lapels that I ordered and they're very cute I'm going to grow potatoes in those but right now I've got tomatoes in this one and that was planted with seed and hopefully within a couple of weeks I'll see some growth with that but once it is time to harvest you can lift this up if you're growing potatoes and pull the potatoes out of that. That's hard to open, but let me get another one here. And you just lift this up and you can harvest the potatoes right out of there. And that's what I'm going to put in here today. It's easy to do. I'm telling you, it's very easy to do. Um, and I've never done gardening before. I always thought it was a major task and I can see why people do plant in rows in the ground. This is a personal garden. I wouldn't try doing this if I was trying to do anything bigger than having it for home. But I thought I'd show this to you. This is something that you can do if you like painting. Uh, I am also going to try to learn how to play the piano. Um, that would take up some of the time that I have, open time that I have. I love doing a lot of reading. But I needed to do something else to get my mind off of concentrating and open it up a little bit more for a little recreation. And this considered, was considered for me recreation. But anyways, just thought I'd share this with you. I don't know if I can turn this around and you see me or not. I have no idea what I look like. I just flipped my phone around. But I wanted to say have a wonderful day. God bless you. And keep each other in prayer and be very careful out here now with the coronavirus. Love you. Take care. Bye-bye.